It cannot fly. State governors reject 60,000 minimum wage proposal. The Nigerian Governors Forum, NGFS, rejected a 60,000 minimum wage proposed by the federal government. This contradicts the federal government's commitment to a minimum wage exceeding 60,000 naira. According to the governors, 60,000 as minimum wage is not sustainable and cannot fly. Recall that Nigerian Labour Congress, NOC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, went on strike on Monday protesting the federal government proposal of 60,000 naira as the minimum wage, which they deemed unacceptable. Reacting in a statement released on Friday, the NGF said there is a need for a realistic and sustainable minimum wage that considers the broader socioeconomic implications. The statement reads in part, the Nigerian Government Forum, NGF, is in agreement with a new minimum wage is due. The forum also sympathizes with labor unions in their push for higher wages. However, the forum urges all parties to consider the fact that the minimum wage negotiations also involve consequential adjustment across all cadres, including pensioners. The NGF conscious party in this important discussion to look beyond just signing the document for the sake of it. In agreement to be signed should be sustainable and realistic. All things considered, the NGF holds that the 60,000 minimum wage proposal is not sustainable and cannot fly. It will simply mean that many states will depend all their FAAC allocation on just paying salaries with nothing left for development purposes. In fact, a few states will end up borrowing to pay workers every month. We do not think this will be the collective interest of a country, including workers. We appeal that all parties involved, especially the labor unions, consider all the socioeconomic variables and settle for an agreement that is sustainable, durable, and fair to all other segments of the society who have legitimate claim to public resources. This decision comes amidst ongoing negotiations between the government and labor unions who have also expressed dissatisfaction with the proposed minimum wage. Now, this is what I'm going to tell us. Are you people now saying that only Tunembo is not the problem? Immediately I read this and I was reading it, I was, it was ringing in my mind, only Tunembo is not the problem. The thing is, we so much focus on the center that we forget that some monsters are closer to us. When I mean monsters and beasts, I mean so-called governors, they are part of our problem. You see, this federal system of government, or how do they call this presidential system of government, is not working. It has made some governors what I call dummies. Mentally, they are brain dead. Mentally, they are corpses. I'm telling you, these people, they don't think for themselves. All they sit down to do is they base their life on their location. They don't do anything extraordinary to make sure funds come in and the funds that come in is sustainable. They don't today, they set the benchmark. Okay, this particular month, our IGR is 27 points. Let us set a benchmark for this particular quarter. We have four quarters in the year, right? We set a particular target for that four quarters. We are going to do this this month, do that this month. And if what we do is, is, is working, it's really is going to boost, you know, our revenue, right? You now do it again in the second quarter. You do it again in the third and fourth quarter. So that at the end of the year, you're going to get something, tr tr you're going to see tremendous improvement. You see why they always say we focus on the presidential too much. I'm not saying we should not hold these presidents responsible, but as we are holding the president responsible, you see lawmakers we go hold them for truth. You see, uh, we say they call them assembly, national assembly members, as you hold them for truth. State assembly members, you hold them for for we say they call them. You hold them for trouser. You hold them for trouser. The uh, governors, you hold them for where? You hold them for we say they call them. You hold them for, for your boxers. Yes. One person go with trousers. One person go with boxers. Yes. We have local government chairman. You hold them. Because these are the people, even if, if Tonumbu brings out a law today, some people among these people are what I call vampire, even better past them. I tell you, demon. Which example I use of demon that day? Venom. Venom better past these people. Because Venom, 
you know they do it you know they you know they attack people be saying uh -huh. when they work with actor in the on the side of protagonists in the side of the protagonists in the movie but you know go attack people will be say they do good huh good they are on the worst the worst past these people it doesn't make sense uh -huh. the sixty thousand minimum wage is not you cannot fly because you are what mentally you're not okay the fg don't spoil on what the fg is doing is increasing see it is very simple ne? the current whatever salary should come from the salaries of lawmakers and the president to me chicken from whatever you are paying them eh give them this four hundred and ninety thousand naira. they're not going to die you call it i'm telling you people one you can this and I'm telling you this is the fact. They don't need to do any further meeting. From the current money they are paying these people, bring the four hundred and ninety thousand naira or the four hundred thousand naira from them. It is very simple. You understand? Very very simple. That is it. It just the idea just came. We don't need to hustle for it from their salary. Bring it if they say it cannot fly. Oh, Tom, there is nothing I want to hear. I don't want to even listen to anything. I don't want to listen to any other thing. It doesn't make sense. They're coming out to tell us that he cannot fly. He cannot fly in a Kenny. Any governor not ready to pay should resign. It is as simple as that. Why has God given us so much wicked leaders? For those who will come out and defend the governors here, I can see, I can see that uh, it's true, true. You and those governors are not for the same category. That you need it, we really, really need a brain, you know. You need somebody to really assess you because you two, you are not fine. If you're fine, you're not going to say it. My own is, eh, no problem. You're not going to be able to sustain it. Eh. When they pay your salary, you from here, you pay workers their salary, chicken. Eh. It is very simple. That four nights, they should be removing it. The salary should be removed from workers' salary. Chicken, eh. it is very simple. Imagine you're removing... Uh, four hundred and ninety thousand. No, they should remove it. They should remove. Or if they cannot remove, another thing I know they can do is to come outside and do what is to start paying the governors. Don't they don't even need to resign? Any governor is saying no go pay and saying no get the money. Make him do it. In. Make everybody they call a minimum wage. Call everybody go down. Yes, make everybody head spoil. Make everybody head make be done like that. That's the best. If they cannot pay and it's not sustainable to them, and they cannot also remove the money from their salaries, no wala, kusi problem, kusi rumbe. They should do what? They should be receiving the same thirty thousand naira. Unopposed, no complaint. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.